let the rain roll. I am Queerotic. I'm working on an EP right now that's based around winter, and it's the first in a series of four that are all going to be coming out each season. They're called Songs of the Year, and this is volume one. It has five songs on it, and it's all winter concepts. There's songs that are based around growing up, um, as I did in Northern Alberta, and I experienced winter all the time <laughs> because we lived on a total back to the land farm where we had to chop wood and haul water and I actually had to walk down to the lake every day and chop a hole in the ice for the cows in the winter time so there was no like escaping it so you just kind of learn to enjoy it and appreciate the crunch of the snow under your boots when it's cold and water dripping off the roof when it's warming up this whole project is about those kind of experiences Partly this concept is because I do have a lot of material that I've been writing over the years. This is kind of a way of all that material getting to find its place. And the songs themselves actually kind of dictated this seasonal concept because they are based a lot around nature and things that I experience outside. And so because I live in Alberta, that's very, <laughs> we really feel the seasons like it's a place in the world where every season is very distinctive. So that kind of, there's a certain mood that gets created when you're, you know, when it is very cold and you're inside and you're writing music, there's a different feel from when you're, it's beautiful, sunny, warm day and you're outside. Songwriting is kind of a crazy beast for me. It's a bit of everything. Like there's certain songs that um, I kind of get an idea in my mind. I often get an idea when I'm moving in some way. Like if I'm walking or like driving or doing something, I don't put headphones on. I usually kind of try and listen to the rhythms and stuff around me. And, and then often I'll get some inspiration. There's another process where I just like sit around and mess around on the piano and figure out grooves and chords. And then there's other songs that really come from poems where I start with a poem and then, you know, think it would be cool to put it to music. Once in a while, there's a rare gift, like the song Chickadee just kind of dropped down on me and I wrote it in the afternoon. Chickadee, you make me so happy. You have a voice like melting snow. In Calgary, we are one of the few places in the world that experience Chinooks. So we get this little reprieve from winter from time to time where everything warms up after a long cold spell and then suddenly it feels like spring and it might be the middle of winter. So it was actually last February. We were getting one of those Chinooks and it just went, the temperature went way up and the snow was starting to melt and the birds were all happy. And So I actually opened the door to my house and sat down at the piano and I could hear the chickadees and I started to write a song with the chickadees. So it sounds crazy, but they're definitely there. Chickadee, you're flying low Over many kinds of snow I have a song on there that's called Neighbor and that's all about um, I grew up out of the city and living in Calgary is my first experience having next door neighbors that are right across the fence from me so it was a new concept to get used to having people so close to me that I don't really know very well so that song neighbor it's about how do we make it through the ages when we don't know the neighbors and there's a song called I will come back which is about my grandmother's love affair with a bush pilot I was thinking about how that would feel to watch him fly away into the cold Winter, there's a song on there called Sundog, which is about those little tiny rainbows that come on either side of the sun on the very, very cold days. And I've kind of used that as a metaphor for, for relationship. That's the relationship song. <laughs> the first song on the record is going to be Astronomy. So I wrote that song about stars. I was writing the song and I went to the bookshelf and looked up, we have a book of knowledge. <laughs> This is old school. I didn't Google it. I got the book of knowledge and I took it over to my piano and I was looking up everything, the pages that they had about astronomy and everything that, that it was saying. And it actually told me that gravity holds the stars from falling. And I never knew that before. So that just seemed to really work in the song. And then as a metaphor for love as well. Baby, we will be okay. I believe. Falling from the 
haven't fallen from the sky Down around our feet Astronomy Astronomy Just that ending. We might, we might have to do that, a little bit of that again. But I was happy with the first part. 